I'm with and Ari and McKenna. All right. Yeah. And are you here from the Florida area or do you live somewhere else? Um, I'm actually down from Jersey City, oh, but okay. I consider St. Augustine my hometown oh, okay. and I'm always coming back, spending right. some time. And so, then... so many people are, are like that. that it's, this is their second home yeah. uh, for a lot of reasons. Yeah, now, my family's here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the reason we, we, um, we're here to talk to you is because there's, there's, there's an event happening. Tell us a little about this event. Uh, first, let's ask, where, where is the event going to take place? It's going to happen at Corazon Cinema and Cafe okay. on Saturday. This coming 13th. Saturday. This the, coming the Saturday at 4 p.m. Okay. And uh, until 6.30 p.m. Okay. And it's going to be a live stream from Food and Water Watch, which is an environmental nonprofit organization focused on protecting food supplies, protecting water supplies. And this particular event is focused on getting us off of fossil fuels mm -hmm. by the year 2035. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people don't realize how tied up fossil fuels are with destroying our water supplies, actually right. poisoning our food supplies, right, as right. well as our air and yes. uh, endangering the future and our oceans too, right. acidifying yeah. our oceans. We, we, see it. we see it constantly in the news, the challenges of that. And I think yeah. you were saying also, this is a way for people to see what they can do, yes. not waiting for the government to, to do something, but for you to take those, those small steps that when collectively, collectively done, uh, they amount to a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. idea, this is going to be live streaming across the country. And when you say live streaming time. for our viewers, what does live streaming mean for those older people who are still figuring out the technical world? Yeah, so basically it's going to be, it's like, watching someone talking to you the moment that they're talking to you. So they're going to be in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. but we're going to be at the Corazon Cinema. Wow. And we're going to be watching them talk to us and engage and show us, uh, oh, wow. you know, montages or whatever wow. it is that that's they're awesome. going to show us. And that's going to be happening simultaneously that was my other across question. the country. Wow. How many more places about, would oh, you know? God, hundreds of places. Wow. I don't know exactly, but okay. I know from coast to coast. So it'll be... Um, Everyone will be yeah. tuned in. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And, and so, um, you, 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 also, you also are involved with the, uh, the Global Cooling Project. That's right. That's my personal project. It's okay. called the Global Cooling Project. Mm -hmm. And so I am focused on helping to make it easier for people to lower their own carbon footprints. Okay. And using entertainment mm -hmm. to basically engage them and to show them solutions, mm -hmm. essentially. So like when I, we have elections, we have young people, uh, people in the industry who, who make it aware of how important it is to vote, for instance. Yeah. You know, and so people kind of listen a little more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the other thing too, I mean, I really think that it needs to be simplified and uh, showing people how they can do something immediately. So for instance, one of my inspirations was the film Aaron Brockovich. Oh yeah, um, I love that film. I was so inspired by that movie, mm -hmm. but when you come out of the movie, sometimes you're like, oh my God, I can't believe that people did that. And, right, and right, you don't right. know what to do. You're mm -hmm. not engaged in how you can help make a change. You're just incensed, you mm -hmm. know, which is wonderful because we need awareness. We need people to open their eyes. But so my idea is to use entertainment, to use story, to help engage people in what's happening with climate change and what's happening with the fossil fuel industry, which mm -hmm. has basically been planting a lot of disinformation. Yes. And yeah. uh, so really connecting them to reality using mm -hmm. fiction. Right, right. Yeah, and I've been working That's with cool. a really amazing writer right. on this project. On this project. Now, for well. the Corazon event, it's free. Anyone yes. can come in. Absolutely All right. free. Four o'clock on Saturday, thirteen, at the yeah. Corazon Cinema and Cafe. And and you can buy food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a absolutely. very comfy place. So many yeah. things happen there because it's it is so cozy in a sense. Such the chairs are location. comfortable. The food is lovely. The drinks are great. It's beautiful. Uh, whether you have a glass of wine or whether you have yes. iced tea, uh, so it's really really nice. <coughs> Absolutely. So, well, we wish you all the luck with Thank this. Thank you. We're going to um, put it on First Coast TV for those who, you know, are very involved with the environment. Uh, St. Augustine yeah. is a very pristine place. Uh, it's beautiful. I think Hurricane Matthew 
brought us a lot of awareness about a lot of things from the way we built our buildings to you know the water rise and all those things yeah. so and that's the thing and that's why i'm so glad to be here to tell you the truth is mm -hmm. because i feel like florida is i mean first of all it's a conserve conservative foothold yes it is and um is. i think that a lot of people really care about the environment yes. here mm -hmm. but the conservative platform isn't isn't helping to forward right. environmental protection right, right now. Right. And yeah. so we have to find a way to get people more involved with protecting the Florida mm -hmm. coast. I, especially I'm always, with yeah, well, I'm always here. surprised because I keep running into very conservative people I, I know who still want to fish, who still want to hunt, who still want to go camping, who still want these beautiful waters. And climate and, change and they aware, is destroying yeah, our oceans Yeah, and they're aware right that now, by polluting carbon, it is not yeah. not the answer yeah. to protect what you have. Yeah, yes. carbon is, real, is actually mm -hmm. going yeah. to make mm -hmm. the ocean uh, inhospitable for right. sea life right. if we don't do something right. to, to change it as soon right. as possible. Right. And a lot of people don't know that. All right. Well, yeah. I thank you very much for giving us the time. Thank I you. wish you success in this Thanks. event. If we're covering so much, but if we can, we'll, yeah. we'll drop by. Okay. So thank Please you. Please do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank okay. you.